It's been over two decades in the NBA for LeBron James, and something that he's never been very good at is taking ownership or responsibility. Usually he has someone else to blame, whether that's the teammates around him, whether that's his coach, or whether it's the officials. And certainly this year, that hasn't changed. As the Lakers are sitting there, the 13th spot in the Western Conference, they're 20 and 24. This is following a year where they missed the playoffs, and that was after they barely made the play-in tournament. The Lakers are pathetic, LeBron James and the squad that he assembled, the people that he wanted, are terrible. And now what he's doing is he's deciding to float out conspiracy theories about the referees, about the officiating, because, you know, they just want to keep the Lakers down. Yeah, I'm sure that's what the NBA wants. They want the Lakers to be bad. LeBron James has been the beneficiary of so many calls throughout the course of his career. This is pathetic. But that's what LeBron James is doing to try to cope with the fact that they have a bad basketball team. LeBron James criticizes NBA officials in response to fans' conspiracy theory, frustrating as hell. Criticizing officials is in vogue. A day after Joey Bosa sounded off on NFL officiating, LeBron James had his own words for NBA referees. And it's one thing to criticize officiating in general. I think that there's way, there's a lot of room for improvement. NBA, NFL, everything. And Joey Bosa went off on the officials. What he didn't say was that that fan who's saying that it's a conspiracy theory against the Chargers, they're 100% right. That's kind of what LeBron James did, though. James tweeted some likely fine-worthy criticism on Monday. His tweet was in response to a fan conspiracy theory that the NBA has it out for the Lakers and intentionally ignores fouls on them. Said fan pointed to Sunday's Philly 76ers win over LA as an example. And this is the tweet in question right here. Regardless of how you feel about Russ, if you don't think that this was as clear a foul as it gets, then you're lying, period. And uh, you can see right here from this angle, Angle. Look at this play. Joel Embiid trying to guard Russell Westbrook near the end of the game against the Sixers. And uh, look what Joel does. But for the Lakers. Right here, when you slow this down, you can see that Joel's actually grabbing Russ's wrist very briefly, right? And it's fairly close to his body. So depending on where the refs are positioned, th there's a real good chance you couldn't see something like that. But definitely a foul, right? And then as he goes up, he lets go. Right, as he starts to bring the ball and raise the ball up to shoot, he lets go. Russ misses. Couple of tough losses. There you go. Certainly should have been a foul. The NBA said they didn't see anything and blah, blah, blah. But now they're saying the idea is that it's intentionally against the Lakers, that they have it out for the Lakers. This is a much bigger story than it is. The NBA is altering their own definition of the rules, their own guidelines, and tell the fans to believe them instead of our own eyes. Well, LeBron James responded. And all year, they keep telling me to my face on the court, I didn't see it, or it wasn't a foul. It's not making sense to me, seriously. Frustrating as hell, man. Anyway, keep going, squad. LeBron James is a dude who has flopped his entire career to try to trick officials into calling things. And it, uh, it often works. It works all of the time. LeBron James is a guy who probably commits more offensive fouls than anyone in the league. And rarely is he ever called for it because LeBron James gets the benefit of the doubt. Uh, for LeBron James to hop on a theory saying that, you know, NFL officials, it's not that it's just bad or that they're missing calls. It's because they have it out for the Lakers. Absolutely pathetic, but right in line with what LeBron James has done his entire career. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.